Hello everyone. Today we'll be covering some basic variable types and how to do add multiplication or subtraction kind of activities in UiPath. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's build a simple process. Name it add values. It is trying to create a new workspace for me. Here it is. Let's go ahead and click on main. And so as we see, main is loaded. And let's go ahead and create variables that we will be using to do arithmetic operations. So let me just drag a, a sign and uh, create some variables right so head on variable tab and create a variable so once i hit on uh, the variable it gives me a default value for the variable let's say i want to use some other variable say um, i want to create an int and it should be number one i will create another variable in and say number two and uh, in UiPath, there are different uh, type of variables possible. The, all the types are listed here. Boolean, that could be true or false. Int 32, that could be an integer. String, as we know, any string. Uh, object. And then we have data table, uh, which would be for a particular data table and being used for rows and columns in that table then array of any object right be it integer string or a list it could be anything so variety is possible now if we want to go with any other kind of variable we can click on browse for types and uh, search here for example if you want to go by in 64 and in 32 is not sufficient so we can just type in in 64 and we can pick this value system in 64 once we hit this and hit ok it will show up here for us in 32 is sufficient let's go ahead and assign both the variable types to in 32 and let's create one more variable c out Again of in 32. The scope of all, all these three variables are limited to the sequence. So scope can be changed. Uh, as of now, we just have one scope. But going forward, we, we can see how much this is important by creating any process. So let's try and assign C2, right? I will copy this and paste. What I will do, I will type an in. I will do control space bar and then select the second option and maybe here I say 6 right save and uh, in the addition we can again use another assign which we will be storing in int output but the value this time will be int1 plus int number 2. Just to view it out, what is the value? We can use anything, message box or write line, like we covered in our previous session. So I'm going to use a message box since it is a, a pop-up that it will show me how the value looks like. But you can definitely go and use write line as well. So I've started the board as you can see 2 plus 6 it results in 8 and it has given the right response. So it is calculating properly. Let's try to do some subtraction here. So 2 minus 6 is minus 4 and it is giving us minus 4 correctly. Let's try to do multiplication. You can also uh, hit here in the value and then do make the changes. Six into two is 12. So it is giving 12. 
let's see how division operator would behave okay so since we are dividing it needs to be a float and that is the reason it will be not allowing me to do any division operations so let's go ahead and um, create a variable that can store floating kind of values so i am trying to search for a double and um, we will use that to store the value and see up, 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 up. here system dot double so this is now double and now when I try to store an int float the error has vanished and the same value I will try to print to see what value it is giving so let's go ahead and run this here it is it's perfect so I think we have covered all the basic arithmetic operations and thank you for watching my session. If you need any activity explanation and anything that we want to cover, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.